Good morning all. How are we this morning? Good morning. Good morning everyone. Good. Good. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Father. Thank you Holy Spirit. We begin our day in our prayer in the name of God our Father merciful and kind our creator. God our provider. The El Elyon of Israel. God most high. And in the name of Jesus Christ his son. The son that he gave for us. Through whom we have our identity. And through what he did for us on the cross. We were reunited with the father. We were given our rights back. Whereby we could call God our father. It is he who gave us that robe of righteousness that we wear. To cover all our filthy sin. We are eternally grateful to you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We also make this prayer in the name of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of Jesus, of God our Father. Who proceeds from the Father and the Son. Came down to earth to live with us. In us. To guide us, to teach us. To show us the word. And teach us its meaning and how to apply it in our lives. To remind us of this book of law of the Lord. And to give us direction in our lives. The one who is our comforter, our guide. When everyone leaves us, he is there with us and for us. We thank and praise you, Father. For all your blessing. For the gift of life. For adding this day. To our lives. Another day. For us to praise and thank you. To worship you. To hear from you. For giving us another opportunity. To identify the mistakes in our life. And correct them. For another opportunity. To take that step. And come closer to you. To turn back to you. From all the places that we have gone. That have only taken us further and away. We thank you Lord for never tiring. Of listing our sin. But always leaving that door open. That despite the list of our sin growing longer. You patiently wait for us to turn back. You patiently renew our, your mercy and your grace. For us. Let's seek it. For all those that are willing to accept and receive it. And turn away from sin. We thank you Father for blessing us with the gift of family. With friends and all those who care about us. We thank you Father. For good health and strength this morning. And as we pray this morning, Lord, we raise all our challenges before you. Every difficulty in our life that we experience this day. Father, we are tired of living this life by trial and error. Where we do not see clearly. And because we cannot discern. We do not know what lies ahead. And that poor discernment is because of the lack of the knowledge of your word and an understanding of how to apply it in our lives. It is because of that poor hosting of the Holy Spirit who is ever willing to guide us, but we don't listen.
we are tired lord of living in uncertainty where we keep walking that narrow path and falling off we keep walking by trial and error and fall into sin fall into hardships we bring all our pains and our worries and all that we hold dear to us this morning lord and we surrender it to you everything about our workplace our employment that did not go right every failed relationship every failure in our career every challenge in our finances every difficulty in our business every weakness that has let us fall into temptation every sickness that has tried to eat into our health we pray we place all of this at your feet father we bottle it up and bring it to you along with our praise our thanksgiving with our supplication and just like the woman brought in the bottle of alabaster the expensive spikenard and broke it at your feet as your word in mark 14 3 says we carry all of these our cares our concerns our worries our problems along with all our thanksgiving our praise and our worship we do not pour that at your feet father we break it we break that bottle so that we do not carry it back with us but we leave all these challenges there knowing that you have a solution for us and through your mercy and your grace that you renew for us every morning we receive that strength and boldness to move on and through your grace we find solution we obtain that grace lord to rise up on the wings of eagles to rise up above every personal limitation to rise up above every generational limitation to rise up above every challenge that our family is experiencing we obtain that grace from you this day lord we carry it back with us as it gives us strength and as we pray for ourselves and our family and all those that we know of are going through some challenges or the other we also pray for those lost ones father that are badly stuck into some kind of these challenges some are even contemplating suicide others do not know where to go some are on the verge of losing the presence of mind and mental health we raise each of these lord at your altar and as we pray for these we also remember the intentions of our family and our friends our colleagues at work and our community And Father, we know that when we pray with you in spirit, you hear us, and you, O Holy Spirit, who searches our hearts and also knows the mind of the Father. It is you who hover over every situation that is void and formless, and it is you that gives it shape. It is you that offers that grace. 
for a comeback, for a revival. We call on your presence, Father. As we pray in spirit, in the language that you gave us, for we know that you hear the prayers not of our lips, but of our hearts. And as we pray in spirit, we know that here you are in our midst. We call on that authority of great commission, Lord. as we remember each of these, our brothers and sisters, and we raise them up to your altar. We obtain that grace for ourselves and for them as well. We obtain that mercy for us and for them as well. We now pray in spirit. We now pray in tongues, knowing that the Holy Spirit prays with us. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Sananiya, 
Father, this day, we bring to you all those things in our life that we have not surrendered to you. Everything that we find difficult to give to you, to let go, we bring all of that bottled up to you, Lord, in that jar of alabaster. This morning I was given Mark 9, 19 to 23. Jesus said to them in reply, O faithless generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I enjoy you? Bring him to me. They brought, him the, they brought the boy to him. And when he saw him, the spirit immediately threw the boy into convulsions. As he fell to the ground, he began to roll around and foam at the mouth. Then he questioned his father, how long has this been happening to him? And he replied, since childhood. It has often thrown him into the fire and into the water to kill him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said to him, if you can, Everything is possible to the one who has faith. Then the boy's father cried out, I do believe. Help my unbelief. Jesus, on seeing a crowd rapidly gathering, 
rebuked the unclean spirit and said to it, Mute and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. During our time of prayer today, uh, I saw a vision of an in, of a wasteland, and I also saw a vision of a a person who is caged in in a prison and uh, i saw a house uh, through this uh, vision the key through this vision that i'm getting is through the first vision where i saw that wasteland and uh, all of these three visions only direct me to isaiah 43:19 where our Lord says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. I say this because that cage could be so many of us in various types of problems. It's similar to that wasteland. And if we place our trust and our hope and our faith in the Lord, He will bless us with that joy, that peace, that new house that we can build in Him. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Today's scripture I got is Luke 11, verses 27 and 28. True happiness. When Jesus had said this, a woman spoke up from the crowd and said to him, How happy is the woman who bore you and nursed you? But Jesus answered, Rather, how happy are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Today, even as we were praying, I seen uh, two visions. One was uh, I seen hay, and along with hay, I seen a cow there, like like a cow shed. And after some time, uh, I've seen uh, a tree, a big, huge uh, tree, uh, with ha which had a hollow in it. And inside the hollow of the bark of the tree, there were so many other staying, other people were staying, or there were uh, animals staying, I could not make out. But inside that hollow of the bark tree, it looked so big, so huge. And I could see contentment. And uh, I sense that the Lord giving me this verse from Hebrews 13, 5, saying that keep your life free from love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Jesus, for showing us through your word that anything is possible to those who believe. For he can do all things, and we can do all things through Christ who empowers us. Thank you, Father, that when we surrender our challenges to you, even though our life is a wasteland, even though we are imprisoned with all the cares and worries and concerns and problems that we go through, through all those difficulties, through all those challenges, through all that wilderness, you make our path straight. And in all that dryness of our life, you pour out a fresh supply of water, your river. Thank you, Father, that you are with us. You hear our cry. And when we cry out to you, you cover us under the protection of your wings, just like that hollow in the tree. You hide us in your secret place. Help us to stay rooted in your word, to make it a habit to read your word every day. And as we read, your word, to ask for your wisdom, to understand that passage that we read, to gain your message out of it, to gain your learning, your teachings out of it, and for you to show us how to adapt that teaching in our life, Lord, so that we might command results so that we might live according to your will, so that your kingdom might come into our lives here on earth as it is in heaven. Your holy and perfect will for our lives, your plan for us to prosper might come to pass when we engage this word and put it into practice. We thank and praise you, Father. For blessing us this day with a wonderful day that brings with it solutions to all challenges, that brings with it successes, that overcomes every failure we have been staring at. We thank you, Father, for a wonderful day ahead where you guide us, you lead us, as we acknowledge you, Lord, in all our ways at the start of this day. We know that it is you who will make that path straight. It is you who will direct our path in everything that we do, everything that we think and everything that we speak this day. It is you who works for the good of all those who trust in you, all those whom you have called according to your purpose. And Lord, we trust in you totally. And do not lean on our own understanding that has landed us in these problems in the first place. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your guiding presence with us. And as we obtain your grace to step forward and to begin the rest of our day, knowing that we are blessed, we go out to every single person that you send us to a lot this day, sharing 
what you have given us, what you have taught us. So that as we are blessed, we might be a blessing to everyone around us as well. In your name, Jesus. Have a wonderful day ahead, everyone. Be blessed. Thank you. We should be seeing, brother Rasul. God bless you. Take care, everyone. God bless you all.